This is my X6 Tarantula transmitter and I've modified it to take a um, RPSMA antenna so I can just screw the antenna on there. And hopefully that should give better range. The reason I'm doing this is that sometimes um, when I'm flying it I get dropouts and the uh, quadcopter will start to fall out of the sky and then all of a sudden it will regain tran the um, transmission so hopefully this is going to help the problem. So continue to watch and you'll see how I've done it. And today I'm going to be modifying the um, Tarantula X6 quadcopter's um, transmitter to make, uh, do a range mod on it. So put a 5 decibel antenna on it. Now you're going to need a 5 decibel antenna and one of these um, pigtails connectors, RPSMA, uh, the male type one. I'll put a link in the description to it anyway. So I've already um, taken the screws out and removed the screws inside. There's uh, eight screws that hold the board down and I've also disconnected this wire here which plugs into the main board. So on this board bring in a bit closer. Okay so on my board uh, the original antenna was connected to the underside Now there are contacts on the top of the board as well for the shield and antenna so I'm going to connect my new RPM, RPSMA connector to the top of it and hopefully it should still work. I don't see why not there seems to be an antenna connection this side as well for a secondary antenna. So I'm just going to connect it off and try it anyway, see what happens. So I've already stripped this back and I'm just going to cut them to size. I've already tinned it as well. I just need to tin the board as well. I actually had to remove the uh, unsolder buzzer and the LED to be able to unsolder the um, original antenna off. So there's a bit more work involved because it's uh, around the other way but not too hard. Okay, so we've got the antenna soldered on, I think. Yep, looks good. Okay, so I'm just going to put a small drop of hot glue on the antenna connections to make sure they don't wiggle loose. And now we've just got to find a place to put the new antenna connection. What I've done to mount the um, new um, SMA connector is cut a small piece of sheet steel out and drilled a 5mm hole through it. That took the um, SMA connector easily and I've tightened it down. I'll probably put some super glue around here just to make sure it doesn't shift anywhere. And I've cut it the same shape as the dummy antenna bit. And then hopefully I should be able to just fit this in here, whack some hot glue in. And also the piece of metal should help with the um, grounding of the um, antenna as well. Okay, so just um, reassembling this. The thing I've found with this is, is I'm not tightening those screws up too tight. Because if not, it presses the um, 
front trims. It does if it's done up too tight. Because it's such a cheap controller. So if you find when you turn it on it's continuously beeping. That's what's happening. And these need to be um loosened up a bit. Alright, okay, so I'm just gonna hot glue the um new antenna mount into place. Alright, okay, so let's get some hot glue in there. in there, I can always scrape it off after. Right, okay, so completed the um, SMA installation. There we go, it's all hot glued up. Uh, once the back is on, it's pretty solid once it's screwed, all screwed up. So, yep, looks like that'll definitely do the job. I'll put a link in the description to all the parts. Uh, so, 5 decibel, 2.4 gigahertz antenna, and that's a um, R RP SMA pigtail connector uh, for like a Wi Fi router or whatever. Yep, so hopefully this should work. I'm going to give it a go. Okay, so I've got the quadcopter bound. It's pretty windy today though, so... Hopefully you should have a good fun. Yeah, the wind is pushing it back this way, so it's handling it quite well. Going straight into the wind. Yep, yeah, seems to be working okay anyway. I have to wait for another day when it's not so windy to test the full range. Uh, seems like the antenna's working. Just drop it down there, I don't want to lose it. Yeah, so there we go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Links in the description for